Here in this video, I'll be showing you a quick tutorial on how you can query a list of features and their attributes in ArcGIS Pro using the attribute table, and then copy and import that list over to an Excel document. This can be a really great tool for when you need a handy and easy way to access a list of specific features in case you need to search them for later or you need to keep track of a specific group. And this can also be a pretty quick and easy process as well, just as long as you know how to do it. So let's get into it. First things first, you're going to need to make sure that you have your contents pane open, this uh, window I have here on the left. If you don't have it open, you can open it by going over to the View tab in the top of the screen, and then in that ribbon, clicking on Contents. And if you had it closed, like I do now, you see it just pop open just like that. From there, we're going to need to decide which layer we want to search from. For this example, I'll be going with the fire hydrant layer for my demo. And let's say I want to find all the fire hydrants where the asset type is unknown. To get us going, we'll need to open the attribute table. This can be done by right-clicking on our layer and just clicking on attribute table. Boom, there we go. It opens this new window here that has all of our features as well as all of the attributes that go alongside them. You can also drag Make it bigger or smaller if you need. And now that we have this huge list of features, we're going to need to narrow it down. Back to the right at the top, we're going to click on Map, and then navigate over to the Select by Attributes button in that ribbon. This opens a new window. We can select a layer to search through. Here we already have Fire Hydrant selected. Perfect, that's what I'm looking for. And then it allows us to make a query using drop downs or a SQL expression. So for this example, I'll make a query. And the first drop down, I want to select asset type. And then I want to keep it as e is equal to, but any of these work for depending on what you're looking for. And then I need to make sure to select unknown. Then once we've double checked and made sure our query works and is all good, we hit OK. And now we have our features selected. See right here it says we have two. And one of them is even glowing blue right here. But we still have all these other features that we don't need to see right now. So we're going to narrow it down. Uh, on the bottom left of the attributes table, we have these three blue lines here that say show selected records. If we go ahead and click on that, it gets rid of all of our unselected ones. And we only have selected ones left. And then we need to click on the copy here in ArcGIS Pro. Remember that you have to use this copy. Doing it the normal way won't work. But after it's copied, we just need to open ourselves an Excel document real quick. And if we just do a normal paste, there we go. We have our table right here, just like it looked like on our uh, on ArcGIS Pro.